In this video, I'm going to show you why I switched from this kind of cap to this and what you can do to enhance the sound of your guitar cabinet. Hey everybody, welcome to Tidal Wave Studio. My name is Patrick Damiani and today I would like to talk a little bit about guitar cabinets. The guitar cabinet, so the enclosure where the actual speakers are mounted in, serve the same purpose as the cabinets of any speaker. This is to separate the front sound of the actual speaker from the rear sound, because the speaker emits sound in both ways, but we only want to hear the portion that's coming out in front. If both would mix up together, then you would get crazy face cancellation, resulting in a poor sound. A while ago, a colleague and I worked together on the development of an own speaker system, which eventually resulted in the speakers I'm using today. And back then I experimented a lot with different shapes and internal structures of speaker cabinets. And I found out that there are a lot of similarities between speaker cabinets and the acoustics in an actual room. And uh, later I thought, why not try and apply what I learned there to guitar cabs? And back then I did a lot of measurements and experiments and today I recreated some of those experiments for you to listen to and see what happens if you do some modifications to the cabinet. And I want to show you what I found out. Well, the first thing I did was make a reference measurement with a little studio speaker to see if generally our measurements would be flat. So this is as flat as the speaker is able to produce and I didn't use any smoothing to see every nuance. Okay, now let's measure a regular standard square guitar cabinet and see what that looks like. Okay, that is a lot different. We have a lot of cutouts and bumps all over the frequency range. And this looks like heavy comb filtering. Let's focus on this area for a second. This is a heavy dip around 230 hertz. And 230 hertz corresponds to a wavelength of 150 centimeters. And 150 centimeters is exactly double the size of our speaker cabinet. So half a wavelength just fits inside the cabinet and I suspect there is some cancellation going on due to standing waves inside the cabinet. So let's try and break those parallels by just opening up the cabinet and placing a board in one corner, closing it again and see what happens if we break that parallel inside the cabinet. And this is what we've got as next measurement. Okay, look at this. Before and after. We really smoothed out that region here by breaking those parallels. Now let's open up the cabinet again and try something on top of this little change that we did. We put in some acoustic wool, just like you would have inside a good studio or hi-fi speaker and see how that changes the measurement. Okay, so this is the empty cabinet and this is with some wool inside. We can see that it further smooths the frequency response. Without, look at this. And with, it's much smoother. Or this area here, without, still have more bumps. And with the wool inside, it's just smoother all over the frequency range. So inserting this wool is a little bit like treating acoustically a real room, like putting some absorbers on the walls and reducing more echoes and cancellations inside of that room. And this apparently works as well inside a speaker cabinet. So with these little experiments being quite uh, promising, I tried to bring this to the extreme by building a guitar cabinet which has as little parallels as possible and also filled with acoustic wool and let's see how that measures. So as a reference here we have the basic square cabinet we started with 
And this is my custom cabinet. It's much, much, much smoother. We don't have crazy bumps like these. It's much flatter. And all these comb filtering effects we have up here, they are almost completely gone. So we see that by working on the shape of the cabinet, we can drastically change the sound of the speaker itself. So now is a quick little comparison how the empty square box compares to the custom cabinet. I quickly recorded a little riff on the guitar and fed it back into one speaker and fed the same signal back into the custom built speaker. And now let's see how different both sound. Okay, whichever sound you preferred, we can certainly agree that they sound very different, although I use the exact same speaker in both cabinets. I prefer the one with the flatter response, it sounds less phasey and grippier to my ear. But maybe it inspires you to experiment a little bit on your own with your guitar cabinet and see if you can improve the sound to your liking. I hope you enjoyed this little excursion inside guitar cabinets and if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. And if you need help with your production, check out the link to Tidal Wave Studio in the description below. See you, bye bye.